Hey Model 3 fans, uh, Elon Musk was recently in Paris um, the 20, January 29th I guess and he said some very interesting things um, that give us some insights uh, in the Model 3 in regards to the timing of its um, of the announcement of its features also the rollout of its features and also in the timing and incorporation of the um, basically autopilot version 2 which is the full autonomy suite. So I'm going to leave a link to this video um, in the comments in the discussion in the description below for your reference. Um, the best one that I found to watch was uh, from the YouTube channel Every Elon Musk video because he has it um, subdivided into uh, the different times of when Elon Musk, Elon Musk um, talks about different things and I also have three individual links that um, go directly to the parts uh, that I'm talking about so you can hear the quotes directly. Uh, so let's just uh, start off with uh, the rollout of the features. So uh, one of the things that Elon Musk says is that uh, the Model 3 reveal will be in late March um, and probably in classic Tesla style that will be like the very end of March. So, uh, but he said not every detail about Model 3 is going to be released. Um, some things are not going to be revealed until uh, closer to production time, which is interesting. And that kind of makes me wonder, like, maybe they're not sure which features they'll be able to incorporate in time for when they want production to, to start. Elon also makes some comments about the reason they're, they're doing this in sort of staggering features is to make sure that they can maintain the, uh, the production release and manufacturing of the Model 3 on time, unlike, he says, the Model X, where they released all the cool features all at once, and you know now it's, it's just been facing delays and delays because of complications. That's in the global release, uh, but he also said specifically the new features, I guess unique to the Model 3, at least initially, um, he said that they're not, um, unlike the X, as I said, they're not gonna be released all at once and all in the first production vehicle. So he mentions that new features will be added like on the next year um, and the subsequent years uh, they'll be adding new features um, which is different than the X and the S to some degree. I mean the S gets upgrades and stuff but not exactly new features unless you count the autopilot um, uh, sensor suite and stuff like that. But aside from that, it's not like, oh, the 2013 has this feature and the 2014 has this. So, but anyway, that will be the case with Model 3. They'll be staggering new cool features. And lastly, um, there's basically a passing comment about Model 3 and full autonomy. And um, I have a link to the specific time in the video where he says this. He's talking about the timing of the, um, of technologically being possible to have a fully autonomous Tesla in about two years. And he says, worst case scenario, three years. And this is aside from reg regulations and stuff. But anyway, um, so he says uh, he's very confident that they will have uh, Model 3 and uh, full autonomy. Uh, actually, he said Model 3 plus full autonomy in about two years. And somebody in the audience, um, while things were starting to get loud, asked the question, like, so Model 3 is going to have full autonomy? And you'll see in the video, Elon Musk answers yes. It's really hard to hear, but I'm pretty sure that's what, um, that's what the question was. And, um, I mean, it's obvious that Elon Musk answered yes to the question. That's some new insights and some tidbits. I hope those are interesting to you. Um, I think they will be if you're at all interested in the release of the Model 3. Um, I am. I think it's going to be an awesome car. So this video is very interesting. It's not the best film. Uh, it's not the best quality. Um, but if you really pay attention and consider uh, what Elon says, and he always says things very precisely. And if, so if you consider what he says in relation to other things that he said on Twitter, other videos, other interviews, um, and whatever, uh, you can kind of piece together some of the implications or things that are implied, which I guess is implications, um, to the actual statements that he's, that he's making.